Hello, my name is Desire Radukunda and I welcome you to my channel which is Cyber Sec with Desire. So in this video, which is going to be a bit longer, I will walk you through our Trihack Miss Not room, which is really a big room. I'm so excited. So uh, like uh, this is a free room, uh, like anyone who has a Trihack Me account, yeah, you don't have to be a VIP user to have access to this room. So this is gonna be a big room. Please bear with me. We go through all the tasks yeah, together. And what I'm not going to do, I will not read everything. You know, I'll just skim through it and then try to answer the questions or show you how did I get the answers. I've done this room before, but I've just said yeah my answers so that you know could be like uh, quicker for me or like just to uh, walk you through you know from the task one to task eleven. So uh, the task one, just about the introduction, you know, they are trying to introduce this room and talk about what is it, yeah, what is it's not, you know, like if you are new to this room, you know, SNOT is um, an open source and rule based, you know, network intrusion detection and prevention system here. So uh, here they are trying, like uh, they are telling us if you, once you complete the, uh, you know, uh, reading the above, just go ahead and click complete. And meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and then start this machine because we'll be using yeah, this machine here. You know, it has this node installed. So I'll uh, just go ahead and then uh, start your machine. Mine will be up and, uh, up and running like in less than a minute. Yep. So what you should expect from this video? Uh, of course, I will show you, you know, I will like talk a bit about, you know, the intrusion detection system and also intrusion and prevention system and also talk about the you know how you can interact with snot and talk about different mode you know of snot uh where you can use it as sniffer mode you know i mean in a sniffing mode or packet logger or can also be used as the ids or the ips and the other mode which is really very interesting is, is the pickup investigation also we we'll talk about you know the most exciting task which is about the snot rule and then uh, in the end of this video, uh, we talk about not two operational logic points to remember, just some things really simple. And then here comes the conclusion. So yeah, without any further delay, whoo, let's get started. All right, so on my left side of the screen, I've got this try hack me uh, questions here, where like uh, on my right side here, I've got the, you know, the machine or uh, the yeah, the Linux machine uh, that we'll be using, you know, for like to perform uh, yeah, these tasks here. So if you're on TryHackMe platform, you know, and yeah, you have already started you, your machine, just click on Show Split View. And once you are there, you can just click here, you know, to view in full screen. So once you click there, you should be able to sit on the, you know, as same as yeah, the way I'm viewing this. All right. So cool. Now let's go ahead and go to uh, task two. So for, for the task two here, they try to, you know, to like talk about, you know, yeah, what we have here, like for for our lab machines, as you can see, we are on desktop here where we've got this trash and also the task, uh, yeah, we've got the task exercises here. So, and so once we're there, let, uh, let's see what else do we have. They say interactive material and exercise, yeah, setup. So, uh they said yeah we've got two subfolders available so let's let's launch the terminal and then go ahead uh see we are what we have on our desktop so i just change my directory to desktop and then go to the task exercises see yeah they said we've got two folders here so and this folder one is the uh is the configuration sample yeah which has you know all the uh like uh you know it's not configuration things here and we've got the exercise files here they say that yeah the the exercise here are like uh it has all the you know all the exercise files here that you're gonna need for all the tasks here we've got also the traffic generator you know uh, yeah this script here will help us you know to generate some traffic because yeah currently this machine here is not connected to the internet which means is offline but it's not, you know, it needs, you know, yeah, some traffic, yeah, that are coming in or out, you know, to like, uh, like, uh, to perform, you know, uh, you know, something, you know, on the, on those coming in, yeah, traffics. Uh, so that's why we're gonna need this script here to generate, you know, the, yeah, the traffic. 
All right, so uh, yeah, that's it. So navigate to the task success folder and run the command, this one. So we're gonna run this command as they ask it us to do, then see what's in there. Easy dot search, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, my bad, there's a typo here. Easy dot search. Oh, too easy, so too easy is the answer for this question here. Uh, I forgot the exclamation, exclamation symbol here. All right, so task three. Uh, on task three here, they are, uh, you know, they're introducing the intrusion and detection system and intrusion prevention system. Intrusion detection uh, system, you know, like they could help you, you know, I mean, they help us, you know, to, to detect the possible malicious activities. While the prevention system, you know, it will detect and also prevent, you know, yeah, the malicious activities here. So there are like uh, two, like uh, two different types, you know, of, of the intrusion detection system. Uh, one, if they, uh, one of them is the network intrusion detection system and the other one is the host-based intrusion detection system here. Uh, so for the differences yeah, between these two, this one is used, you know, like uh, if you have more than one, uh, like, uh, yeah, one devices that are connected together and you want, you know, to detect, you know, something, you know, like some malicious activities that are having access, you know, on your network. For the host-based one, is see what, uh, this one got, you know, you can perform this on, like, on the on the single device, you know, just, yeah. For the prevention system, we've got four types, and like, like I said, I'm just trying to go quick, you know, through this. I'm not going to read everything. I'm assuming that, you know, you've gone through everything here, so I just want to focus on the questions, you know. So the yeah the detection prevention uh yeah techniques here, uh we've got signature based rules and behavior based uh yeah rules and also policy based rules, uh for the yeah I'll just go ahead into the questions you know because I am assuming that you know I will provide the link in the description so that you can go ahead and then read yeah read everything, and then I'll help you know to answer the questions according to what's in there. So which is not mod can help you to stop the threat on the local machine. So for the local machine, we are going to use yeah, the host based one, right? And here you can see yeah, we've got stop. So which means we're going to prevent, right? So this is gonna be a host, you know, based intrusion, you know, prevention system. All right, so which snort mode can help you to detect threat on the local network? Since it's on the network, you need to use, you know, your network based one. But here we're going to detect, so which means we're going to use intrusion detection system. So it should be NIDS. All right, so and which snort mode can help you to detect the threat on the local machine? Local machine, again, you need to use, you know, host based one. So it's H and then uh, since it's detect, so it means IDS or intrusion detection system, All right? And also next question, which snort mode can help you to stop? Stop, which means prevent, you know, the threat on the local network here. Uh, if it's the, no the local network, then it's NIPS. Cool. Uh, which snort mode works similar to NIPS mode? If you really, if you go through, uh, you know, yeah, the note that is provided to us here, there's this one here, they said, behavior-based intrusion prevention system, this one, behavior-based, uh -huh, works the uh, same as, you know, as the, yeah, the network intrusion prevention system. So, uh, the name is network behavior analysis, which is NBA. So, NBA is the answer to this question. According to the official description of this note, what kind of NIPS is it? Like, oh, so according to the description, uh, if you go through, uh, like, you know, the description here, they said uh, it can also be used, they are talking about, you know, SNOT, you know, it can also be used as a full-blown network intrusion prevention system. So the answer to this question should be uh, full-blown. All right, NBA training period is also known as, if you go through this, uh, you know, the note again, you feel find that the answer to this question is baselining. Let's see, uh, NBA, the training uh, is also known as baselining. Easy. Uh, baselining. All right, so task four. Uh, for, for the task four, what they do, they're trying to, you know, to tell us like, oh, uh, you know, how can interact with this note. 
So you can, you know, there are different, you know, different parameters here. For example, TAC V, uh, this one provides information about, you know, yeah, the instant version where TAC C just to, add it, to identify, you know, the configuration file. And TAC T, this one we, you know, help you to test the configuration file. And Q, just to try to avoid, you know, us not showing the banner when it's running. All right, so let's go to the questions then. I run this note instead and check the build number. All right, so we're gonna use TAC V. As like we said, TAC V yeah, will give you the information about you know the instant version that you, you were running. All right, let's see. Uh, it's not TAC V. Uh, so copy, oh, so oh, we need to use sudo. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sudo uh, super user do permission. This one, uh, let's see. Oh, my bad. Sorry, tag V. Yeah, like, as you can see, uh, the V has to be capital one. Uh, it's 149. That's the, the build number. 149. All right, so uh, we're going to test the current instant with uh, this one here. So this is the current, you know, configuration. And to test this, uh, we need to use a uh, tacti because tacti is used, you know, to uh, like to test, you know, uh, the config, uh, this not configuration file. I clear my terminal, then go ahead and run sudo, uh, sudo snot, uh, tacti, and then uh, the configuration file, which is this one, then click enter. Let's see. Uh, you see option or whatever command. Oh, oh yeah, we need to uh, specify the oh yeah the configuration uh, file by using taxi. I'm sorry, and then also just put you know taxi just for testing. All right, that's it. And what's the question here? They said uh, how many rules? So just go through the snot output here. Scroll up a bit, you should be able to see the number of rules that have been, you know, detected from this. Uh, oh, snoot rules here 4151. B4151. Yes, and, and also uh, test the current instant with this one. Or oh, this is a different, you know, uh, configuration five. And just do the same thing. They are asking us the same question, or, you know, uh, this should be not version 2 let's see here then scroll up through the output just uh, we've got only one role here all right so and now let's move to task 5 where we're going to you know to use uh, uh, to use uh, snot in sniffer mode so sniffing means you're trying to observe and detect you know something like for the traffic that is coming in so snot can be used you know as as a sniffing tool Okay, so let's see what do we need here. They said that we could use, you know, yeah, different parameters for our uh, TAC V, which is our uh, lowercase V, display the TCP and IP output in the console. Where TAC D display, yeah, the packet data. Let's say you're sniffing, you know, an HTTP traffic. So if you just, uh, you know, uh, add TAC D, uh, sorry, TAC D, yeah, you will be able to see, yeah, the packet payload. And this could be maybe like in hex or of course uh, format. Tag E will display you know the link layer for the TCP, IP, UDP, ICMP headers, and tag X, uh, which is the capital X, excuse me, uh, to display the full packet details in hex mode. Tag E very interesting, you know, it will like it tells us not, yeah, which uh, which which interface to use or to sniff at, you know, or to sniff from. Oh, uh, yep. If your computer just has, you know, like uh, just one, yeah, one interface, you don't have to use this one. And if you don't put tacky to use, you know, probably yeah, the ETH zero, which is yeah, the interface like uh, zero by default. All right. So now let's go ahead. I'll uh, go to the questions here. We answer the questions together. Uh, you can practice the parameters combination by using the traffic generator script. Cool. So going to use the traffic generator tool. And then let's see, we go to task six here. Uh, in task six, task six, 
let me see they are telling telling us you know how how can you use uh snort you know as a packet logger like after sniffing you know after sniffing the traffic you can also log the traffic or save or store the traffic that is coming in so and that's what called you know you are logging all or or the logger mode in snort so what you're going to do we're going to see how can you use snort you know uh you know uh, like in logging mode or just to save the you know yeah the traffic that is coming in okay cool so here we've got this uh yeah these parameters tac l that's the logger mode you're telling snort that you know you need you like to save these logs and also if you just put oh uh, yeah that's it and tac k ASCII, you know, the log packets, you know, yeah, we come in in the ASCII format. And TAC R, you're reading the option. Let's say, yeah, you want to read, you know, some like some logs probably from, you know, uh, the, yeah, from the Wireshark. And also you want to read, you know, yeah, those logs, you can just use TAC R. And it specifies the number of packets that we process. Let's say we've got like a traffic, really too much traffic coming in in our system. And we just want you know right, to review like or just to to have a look at you know at five uh, five traffics. We could use TAC N you know to try you know just uh, like to make yeah to make our job to make our job easier. Just use TAC N and then you know add five on it. Okay, cool. So now let's see. Uh, I think that's it. We're going to go ahead and then jump to the questions. All right scroll down a bit and then there we go again i'm assuming that you have gone through you know everything up here because this i mean this room is really big i can't read everything i apologize for that but like the purpose is just show you how you know i got the questions and also try to try to to explain you know my understandings you know about how to approach these questions here all right so they said uh Investigate yeah, the traffic with the default configuration with yeah, the ASCII mode here and then extrude the, uh, the traffic uh, script generator for this one. All right. So let's see. We're going to, uh, let me see, uh, exercise uh, sudo snort, uh, sudo snort, dev mode, here. Dev, uh, dev mode, we're trying to test now that we're going, you know, to perform some, uh, yeah, to perform some, uh, like to use, to use snort in the logger mode. And tag okay, we need the output in you know ASCII format and also save the logs in the current directory here. Okay, cool. So once I run this, note is gonna start you know sniffing what's in there, and also because you don't have any incoming traffic, that's when you're gonna use you know this traffic generator you know to run like you know this in the background so that it's not good, you know, sniff or, or I mean sniff you know the traffic that is coming in. All right, so go ahead and click enter, launch a new terminal here, and then let's see. Then we're going to run uh, the traffic generator and then choose task six because you're on task six. With a bit, so uh, the traffics are being generated here, and then shouldn't take long all right so now let's go back to our snort here just uh control c to cancel you know the process and then c uh let's see what's the question here they said okay let's see oh uh, now you should have uh, the logs in in your current directory let's see let's check all right yeah as you can see snort has you know uh uh stored you know or you know like help us you know to get these logs you know from different like yeah uh i'd say ip addresses here depending on the traffic that is being generated so now let's see what's the question here now you should have our logs in the current directory navigate to this folder here so we're going to navigate to, to which folder cd uh one four whatever one four five we don't have permission so we can since we have uh, you know a pseudo super user do permission we're going to change you know the like the you know you can change the owner or just change you know the yeah the mode for this file you can use sudo change mode and then add you know 77 which stands for write read and execute you know uh permission to this folder here 
All right, so now we should be able to oh, navigate, you know, to this folder to see what's in there. Let's see, our oh, TCP, this one, TCP, whatever. Okay, all right. So what is the source port used to connect to port 53? So we're going to uh, see which port used, you know, to connect to port 53. So we're going to, to read this, you know, yeah, this log here. You can just use CAT, you know, uh, then UDP, whatever. Then let's see, uh, permission denied. Now you sudo cut uh, UDP. All right, let's see. As you can see, we've got this uh, IP address, you know, used uh, that is mapped to this uh, 53 port. Oh, uh, yeah, let me see. What is the source port used to connect to? Oh, wait, I misunderstood the, the question. Let's see. I should be able to log in. Directory folder here. What's the source port used to connect out to 53? So this is the destination port here, and this this is the source port as you can see. So the source uh, source port is uh 3009. All right. So and let's see. We're going to use snot log. Uh, this file here took me forever, you know, to find it by. Uh, when I uh yeah when I went back, you know, to the exercise here. I checked yeah what to have here. I've seen that we've got uh give me a sec, let me see. So we are, uh, yeah, we are required, you know, to. For the next, uh, for the next question, we are required to use this log file here. So once you go to exercise files, uh, you should be able to find this file here, CD. Exercise uh, five. Then let's see. Uh, tasks. Task six. CD. Uh, which task is that? Task six. As you can see, yeah, we do have this file here. So what we are going to do? They said uh, read this not log file with this, and then they're asking the IP ID, you know, for the tenth packet. All right. So just type here yeah, this command here, which. Uh, it's not tag r used to you know to read uh to read the logs and then it's not uh uh this the name of the log file and then tag n then put 10 since we are want to see you know what's in uh 10th packet here so they asked for the ip id for this one scroll up just to see oh uh, so these are 10 packets here so since we are interested in the in the last packet which is the 10th one here so the IP ID for this one should be somewhere around here. Let's take our time. Check IP uh, over this one. Cool. So it looks like we don't have you know more information about the. Uh, oh, it's here. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yep. Uh, it's just here. Four nine should be. Uh, four nine three one three. Uh, read the snot log five snow. What is the referral of the fourth packet here? So the referral to this one uh, for the fourth packet. So let's see. Since we need to know, uh, I mean, we need to have uh, more information about this packet so that you can know the referral for this one. So we need to use, if you remember in the snot uh, sniffing mode, it said we could use, you know, like uh, something like tack. Uh, Tag D, you know, to, you know, if you want to like have information about the packet, uh, the packet, 
the packet data payload or just use tag x to give all the information about the packet and also here we are interested about uh the the fourth packet so just uh, run this sorry need to leave a space there cool now let's see let's see the fourth packet here as you can see we've got all the information about this packet we've got the payload and everything that we need so here they asking for the uh, the referral of the fourth packet. So let's see. According to this format here, uh, we just go through the output here. First will be uh, this one here. HTTP uh, colon slash slash wow wow whatever this thing here. Oh, no, let me just type it. HTTP uh, www ethereum.com dot com should be this one uh wait let me see what's the format or dot com we need to add this development uh sorry development.html oh nice so now again we're going to read the same uh, log file then they say read snot log file um with snot uh, so what is the the acknowledged number of the uh of the f packet so same thing could uh we could just run this you know uh since we're interested in the f uh packet and also you could just use you know x or v you know because you just need uh, to know some basic information you know but i always you know prefer using x so that i can have all the information about the packet oh so let's see they're asking for the acknowledge number I should be able to sit in the header you know in the tcp header let's see uh where is it scroll up it come on <laughs> Yeah, this is the packet payload, excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is the acknowledge number we are that you're asking to provide. Because this is the packet number eight, and this is the acknowledge number, this is the sequence number. Alright. Just copy there and then read not this live file. What is the number of the TCP port uh, TCP port uh, 80 packet? So with this one, when you are reading the logs, you know, you can use uh, like, so, like if you're looking for some specific information, you can just, you know, uh, you know, add this one at the end. I will show you. It's here. Like they said, let's say if you want to get, you know, AUDP and maybe uh, like AUDP port 53, you could just use UDP and port 53. So for this one, for our answer, I mean, for the, for this question, you can just type TCP and port 80. So they're asking, you know, uh, what is the number of uh, this number here? Let's see. Uh, just try to read this. We don't need, don't need this. Also this one here, but just put uh tcp and port 80. all right so uh let's see scroll up a bit to see what is the number of the packet that have been detected from here uh packet number is fit of 41. uh so the packet number with you know uh like tcp packet number port 80 is 50 uh 41. All right, so tasks number seven. Hmm. So number seven, we're just going to talk about how you can use uh, Snort. Let's see, let's see the title. Uh, how, how Snort can be used, you know, as the intrusion detection system or, you know, imp uh, intrusion prevention system. We are halfway there, guys. Uh, bear with me, you know, we can do this. You know, this is really a long room and yeah, but it's it's very useful yeah very useful room especially for some people you know who are you know beginners like in this uh, cyber security 
field. All right, so let's see. For the ideas here, they provided a uh, I just go through the the commands and say id base models uh here like they said if you want to use you know the yeah the ideas or the ips model you need to use you know the uh tag a so the a stands for the alert you know so you could uh like if you if you want to see the alert maybe on the console you can just you know type tag tag a and then yeah type console or if you want to see full you know full like full alert mode you are providing all possible information about the alert you can just you know type tag l and then for i prefer using this one here all right so red uh that's it like uh for the fast and also the uh fast uh we've got fast and none so fast mode shows the alert message timestamp source and destination IP along with the port numbers we are not you know uh uh if you if you put like attack a and then and then none so you disabling you know the yeah the alert for this one cool so now let's go to the questions then try to answer that's easiest way to, under, to understand things they said uh investigate the traffic we yeah, are with a default configuration this one here let's see uh, come back all right let's see no, oh, yeah, you can see do it from here. Sudo node uh, taxi C, which stands for you know like uh, we need to provide the you know uh, the configuration file. Then that's why we use taxi and then uh, snort snort. Uh, this is the configuration file that we are going you know, to check like and then tag A full. Uh, tag L sent for the logs and also put points so that you can you know yeah get the output in this in this current uh, in, in this current working directory here press enter and then you see what you are asking here uh, what is the number of the HTTP method so from uh, oh, we need uh, we need first to generate uh sorry yeah my bad we need to generate a, uh, the traffic you know for snort otherwise there is no yes not is not going to give us any 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 a lot about this launch a new terminal then let's see go to task seven and then uh look for the task seven what is in there is this what else uh, we need to use the the traffic generator file sorry um, sudo traffic generator but before that let's get this not ready and then they said here use the HTTP. Uh, this HTTP. Uh, let's just use the HTTP traffic. Then see. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, we need to use. Uh, we need to use task seven. Exercise, you know, from the. From from the H, uh, like from the traffic uh, generator file, so I'm gonna start over again. Like uh, start this is not again, because we wanna we are using smart you know in uh IDS or IPS you know uh, mode. That's why we used uh, tag A, which stands for the alert. And then here I'm just going to generate you know the HTTP traffic. Uh, we're gonna use task seven here. And the question is how what is the number of detected http get method so once you come here i'll just cancel this one see it should be about so let me see uh this is the number of the http get method here that we have, uh yeah that have been detected just put two 
and then you can practice the rest of the parameters using the traffic generator script i'll leave this for you because uh if you really like one understand how can use uh, as not as the ips or the ids it is really useful but it's not really that hard just tack and then you can change this for either to fast or none or maybe control depending on how you want to see you know or how like yeah how how you want to save uh your you know yeah the alert all right so now let's move to task eight so task eight be a uh, bit longer so for the task eight we're going to uh use you know pick up you know yeah we'll be investigating you know the pickup so here they said that like some parameters yeah to use can use attack error you know or just when you're trying to read a single pickup and also attack pickup list if you're trying to read you know a, a pickup like provided uh let's say it's a pickups list you know let's say we've got like five you know pickup uh, uh you know like yeah five pickup files and also pick up show you know if you want to show yeah the pickup name on the console during yeah the processing here so let's see uh let's see and then so i'm just gonna again leave this to you uh, and then just go ahead try to answer the questions answer uh they said uh investigate at the uh, max of uh, tag one dot pickup file with the default configuration file all right so where is this where are we going to find this one i guess this should be in task eight let's check since we are task eight now task eight all right so there we go and uh what's the number of generated alert so we're going to run this and then try you know we we're going to run as not and then uh taxi just to specify the configuration file of snot that you yeah, that you'll be using and this configuration that's where the rules are and also tag a just for the alert you know and also full you know uh, because you want like uh like i said yeah, you can make it full or if you want to just see it in a console mode or maybe fast depending on how much information you want to get you know from the alert and also tag l just to store this you know yeah these logs in the our current yeah directory and then uh tag r we read in this pickup file here all right so now let's see we're going to investigate uh this file here which is uh max mx attack a dot pickup file and sudo snort uh, taxi just use the default configuration file of snort and then uh tag a stand for the you know ips or the ids mode then full then l for uh because we want to store this in the current directory then tag l for reading you know yeah the pickup file or the alert or the logs just use tag r and then mx uh, one pick a file here cool now oh, let's see waiting right let's see what's the question what is the number of generated generated uh a lot here so as you can see from the output here just scroll up a bit you should be able to see how many number of the generated a lot for this one as you can see the all that have been generated is 170 also if you want to view these ones you can do it because um, we said that yeah once not like to generate this uh for us if you go through the alert you can just open this either by cut or nano and then yeah you should be able to see how many number 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 of 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 alerts that have been generated so this one is 170 i keep reading the output how many tcp segment are queued all right let me see how many tcp session that i queued if you come here to stream statistics you will see the tcp sessions to then tcp whatever uh tcp session that are queued you see our tcp segment that i queued is 18. i keep reading uh the output how many https response headers were extracted HTTP response that have been extracted. Let's just uh, scroll down a bit. Let's see. They said HTTP responses should be here. Responses uh, that have been extracted should be three. 
and then uh, we're going to investigate another, you know, uh, same packet, but we're going to use a different configuration. So the one used is the default uh, configuration, but uh, at this time we're going to use a uh, not uh, version two configuration. So I, I'll clear my terminal here and then just run this command here, taxi, just to specify, you know, the which configuration file we're going to use. And then I'll uh, specify a cause we investigate in this packet, you know, like we telling Snort, please run, you know, as the ideas or IPS mode, and then just give a full information about all the alert here. Then store the logs, please, for us, I mean, in this current directory. Then read, uh, I mean, uh, tag R for reading, you know, the the packet that you're trying to, uh, to investigate. Uh, actually, this is for packet mx a this one then right enter press enter uh let's see uh what's the question what is the number of the generated generated alerts just scroll up a bit when you scroll up you, you should be able to see number of generated alerts here uh, you can as you can see it's 68 68 and then uh, they are asking us to investigate here yeah, the second uh, pickup file with the default configuration here so we could just since we learned similar command just look for it let's see it should be this one just going to change you know the uh yeah the pickup file the only we are investigating if you go through this you should be able to see what is the number of alerts that have been generated again go through you know the output here scroll up a bit you should be able to see the number of you know generated alert which is 340 340 uh keep reading through the what is the number of detected tcp packet then what is the number of detected tcp packet so let's go through uh the statistics here see a tcp packet all right so if you add like i've gone through this and then if you add or like all the TCP packets that have been generated and then add them here you should be able to see the uh, that they are equal to 8 to just add those ones then you'll be able to find you know uh, actually it's here yeah the total number is like the for the if you go to the stream statistics uh, stream statistics come to the tract here so uh, the TCP packet that have been detected you see that is 8 to all right, so now let's go to the uh, last question of task eight. And we're going to investigate this uh, pickup file, the second pickup file, and also the third pickup file. We're going to use the, uh, you know, the uh, the default configuration here. All right, so uh, we are not going to use, uh, you know, the uh, tag R, because we use tag R just to read only one pickup file. Instead, we're gonna use, you know, uh, dash dash pickup you know or uh, dash list and then you know could investigate these two packet you know i mean these two pickup files together at the same time easy so now let's do it uh sudo it's not use the default configuration fire of snort and then tag a full tag l Uh, pick up, pick up list. Go to uh, then just the thing here uh, to just type the name pick up and also MX three pick up. think something's wrong with my I just copy this command here copy it you know to the terminal here
Cyrus. Alright, so what's the question? What's the number for generated? Oh, well, so just uh, scroll up a bit, then look for the number of generated a lot here. Uh, 1020. That's the number of generated uh, 1020. Alright, so now let's go ahead and then go to our uh, task uh, 9. We are almost there. So task nine, uh, we're just going to talk about the rules. Really interesting uh, room here. I mean, interesting tasks here because everything that I've been doing, you know, yeah, generating generating the alerts, you know, those are based, you know, on the rules. So instead of using this note, you know, mm, yeah, default configuration file, we'll be writing our own rules and then tell Snote, hey, could you please try to investigate this packet for us? And then, you know, I mean, according to the rules that I've given you, very interesting so for the rules here again i'm not going to go through everything here but as you can see this is the action like this is this is like you know uh this is the format yeah this is the format of the rules the first one is the action of course could be the alert or drop or reject you just telling this not hey could you please do this alert me if you are detecting something like some, something like this or just drop or just reject this one here and then yeah you, you have to specify the, the protocol if it's either tcp or udp or or the icmp then sus ip sus port the, and then the direction destination ip destination port and the option the options could be like the message you know and also uh we need to uh like you know uh give the you know uh, like the the sid which is stand from you know could be like one million and one because uh the others like i mean before that like uh like the number which is before that is already configured you know for the like you know for the for the other like i'd say the other rules that comes you know with a yeah with it's not all right so let's go to and see uh just uh, these are like these are like uh, for the IP and the port numbers you just go through this they show you how to you know to perform some roles really very easy so let's I'll just go ahead to the questions here then try to answer the question then and that will be easier for us you know to to understand so they say use tasks uh, nine pickup fine all right so I'll be using use uh, using task uh, 9 pick up file and then write a rule to filter the IP ID this one and run it against the given pickup file what is the requested uh, of the detected packet here okay nine so uh, so we're going to change our directory to the uh, task 9 and then what do we have there uh, we, we've got the local rules here so we're going to change these rules then just try to modify them so that you could you know try to filter yeah the packet uh you know with the ip id this one so just i'll just type uh the hello tcp uh any any like coming from any port and i mean coming from any ip and any port by directional any any and then uh just put the message and this one could be uh 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 whatever what for like uh ip id three five uh three six nine has been found has been found all right and then if you go through uh like the format for the rules if you are trying to you know to filter the IP ID, you could just use, you know, uh, like uh, this one. Just the I just put the ID of that packet. Put it here. It's ID. Uh, what uh, three five three six nine, and then put yeah the SID like SID root. Like I told you, just start from uh, zero 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 again one from here and put the rev 
this one, this one. So this this is gonna be the rule, you know, to like to alert, you know. Uh, I mean, this note will alert us, you know, once to detect the packet, you know, yeah, with the IP P I D three five three six nine. So we're going to run this and then see what, uh, yeah, what's the output. Go back to the question. They said, uh, write the and run it against a, a given pickup file. Cool. So we're going to write sudo and then tat c, which stands for the, yeah, we're going to specify which configuration file to use. We're going to use our, our, our local rules. Uh, oh, sorry. I mean sudo sudo uh pardon me snod taxi local rules and then we're gonna use uh since we're using this to investigate the packet we'll either use a detection or prevention here a then in full mode please generate some logs for us in the current directory and then use r you know to read uh, which uh pickup file to read which is task uh, nine dot pickup so now let's see. And then they ask us, uh, what is the request name of detected packet? The request name of detected packet. So, oh, interesting. So let's see what you have here. Uh, once I open the cart, you know, I mean, once I open the alert area with the cart command, oh, usually, hmm, how come there's nothing here? we did it detect anything let's see if we have detected any any a lot zero the rules where is the all of TCP So guys, uh, if I use this one, as you can see, I didn't get any, you know, packet that was detected from here. And from the question here, they said just they give us something. They said you could either use TCP, UDP, or ICMP. So I'm gonna ch change the rule a bit, you know, just to yeah play with it, just to see if I'll be able to, you know, to detect any any packet here like with the IP ID uh, 35369 just use the protocol here put ICMP for now and then we see uh, let's go back then run as not here oh beautiful so as you can see we've got one a lot for this one so once we up uh, let's see what uh, files we've got here just cut a world here see what's in there Oh, uh, here they they ask it. You know what's um, what's the request name of detected packet? So the request name I came to know. You know, find figure out that this is the request name. Once you read, yeah, the logs here. Yeah, this timestamp request. That's the request name. The request name should be timestamp request. And next, create the rule to filter packet with seen flag. So like any packet we're going now to create a rule with any packet you know the packet that has seen flag you know and run it against the given pickup file 
so if you go scroll up here if you just want to like detect the packet with the same flag you know just you know type c uh, you can see at uh, the alert tcp any 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 then on the flag just that flags and then supply capital s as the you know as the value for this one cool and this packet since it has since you know since there is a, a same flag means it is a tcp packet now let's go back to our rules we change a bit and you know just see if we can be able to to detect the you know the ICM uh, the SIN flag packet just type TCP um, let me see here just we just need to modify this oh sorry could just write a new rule it's gonna be quicker my bad Let TCP any from any uh, destination IP, any destination port to any IP, any port, then put the message as you know, uh, same packet has been found, and then supply flags, flags, scene. And then SID, which is the uh, row number, could be one zero 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 zero, and then just put one anyway. Then rev, okay, supply one as well. Okay, so we're gonna uh, run the same command here just to detect this. Of go one alert has been detected here. So let's see what's the question create a rule snapshot so they say what is the number of detected packet uh only one has been detected but a lot has been generated maybe if you scroll up you can see or uh, like you know this smart has received three uh thousand and nine hundred packets but only one has been detected based on the rule that have you know supplied so the answer to this one is one and then they say clear the previous log and alarm files here Let's see what you have here. I uh, just sudo remove alert and sudo remove those uh, uh, snot logs to one whatever. Sudo remove snot logs for this one. I hope we have cleared all the alarms and log files. They they said write a rule uh, to filter the packet with push acknowledge flags so with push with acknowledge you know could just uh use a, a, a quite similar rule just need to change it from uh, uh you know s to a but since since it's a push you need to put p at the front all right uh let's see we we'll just go back to our our rules just lazy to type no no local rules Go to flags here. Change to P, which is time for push, and then uh, pull A since we need the acknowledge one. Okay, we should do. Then come back, run the same command again. Uh, smart command to detect, you know, the packet. You see, oh, so many alerts here 216. So, right, uh, uh, this one say we're able to detect 216. Supply this as the answer to this one, and then they say do the same thing, just gonna clear the logs, you know, and the alarms, everything. Uh, sudo remove alert, sudo remove snot logs. All right, we're good to go. I create a packet with the same source. They said uh, create a rule to filter the packet with the same source and destination. So with this one, if you go up here, see you can just gonna use you know same uh, same IP uh, like field you know or value here. 
it should be easy we're just going to go back to our rules and then we're gonna supply our same same ID here and then should let's go back just to double check uh, same IP sorry it's not same IP it's same I uh, so it should be same IP all right so now let's go back to our snort command for detecting this packet so we've got three once I do this one should be three Oh, wait, create a to uh, uh, same source and destination and run it against a given picker. What's the number of detected packet? Oh, uh, well, you need to filter TCP and UDP. Also, the rule, the one you, the one we wrote, that one is for only TCP. So let's just check uh, UDP as well, see what's in there. Um, or just oh could just add another rule for this one UDP any 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 should have copy pasted this no same packet oh no we are not it's no same packet like uh, same IP same port has been detected and then just use supply same IP field SID this rule just add put two since one was already created for the one uh, rev one should be able to find the correct answer so number is 10 uh, 10 for this one beautiful also case uh yeah case example an analyst modify an existing role ex uh, successfully so which rule option must uh, the analyst change after the implementation there should be uh sid oh wait example for the analyst modify existing role oh once you once once you modified the existing rule one of course you have to change the rev number for this one my bad um, and the next task is task 10. It's not operation logic or uh, points to remember here. So they're just trying to go through everything that, you know, uh, they talked about. Just I'm assuming that you're going to read by yourself. And yeah, uh, for the conclusion, uh, it's just a summary of everything, you know, we've gone through in this video. And thank you guys for watching. It was really a long video. And please, I encourage you, like, I mean, need your support. Just subscribe to my channel if you think the video is is useful. You could you could you could, do, you could do also share to your friend as well. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video about it's not challenge the basics.